What? Hey, what's up? I'm Gary, aka Jikui, from the little red dot known as Singapore. In this video, I'm gonna take you through the easiest, fastest, most cost-effective gear you can take into consideration to start filming today, like literally right now. The very first piece of equipment you can start with, and it shouldn't come with any surprise, is your smartphone. Look, what you've heard is true. Trust me, you don't need much more than this crazy piece of technology that you already have in your pocket to start. Most smartphones these days even come with the choice of camera lenses, which is just absolutely amazing. The phone is so good that even the, all the technical filming settings are already automatically done for you. So picking up filming has never, literally never been this easy to start. By the way, this is why TikTok and the youngest generation of kids are dominating that content space. They're literally just using their phones. But let's look at some additional accessories to take your mobile filming up a notch because that's what you're really here for. Voila! First, you need stability, not just in life, but also on your phone. And you can use any of these items in front of me to do so, but they do have some various key function, which is important for you to understand. This one right here is called a mini tripod and with it, a little mobile phone adapter. And you can just mount a phone and put it anywhere you like. This one right here is my personal favorite and it's called the GorillaPod. It's cheap, but also super functional. You can use it like a regular tripod or mount it just about anywhere you like. Then there's the gimbal, the latest and greatest user-friendly and easy to use piece of gear, but it will be the most expensive option in this lineup. What this thing does is it automatically balances your camera so things look smooth, especially if you're going to be moving a lot with your filming. There are lots of brands and payload options out there from mobile filming rigs like this one to giant movie making rigs. So do a little research online to find out which one is best for you. Seriously, just Google it. Best gimbals in the market and let Google and the rest of the collective film world do all the hard researching work for you. The info is already out there and in much more detail than I could possibly ever cover in this one video. Got it? Good, let's move on. Let's talk about better audio for mobile filming. This little gear I have here is called the shotgun microphone. I've basically had this one for years now and I bring it around with me to shoot just in case because you never know when you might need it and it basically collects better audio from anything that it's pointed at, hence shotgun microphone. Another option to improve audio is the portable lav mic with a heavy emphasis on portability. These are relatively new on the audio market, particularly in its price point and the size these things are popping up in today. And as far as mobile filming goes, those are the key basics. The vast majority of YouTubers, Instagrammers, TikTokers, and even LinkedIn videos starts here. The gear we just talked about is relatively cheap, minus the piece of the resistance, which is the phone. But I'm assuming you probably already have one. One last thing before we wrap things up. I want you all to understand that filmmaking is not just about the gear you use. It's just gear. It makes it easy to start, but there's so much more that goes into making a great video great. It's all about knowing how to use the gear, the passion, scripting, and planning behind the video topic you're creating, and the little post-production flair. Gear is just one part of the formula to truly creating a great video. I hope you found this session informative and valuable. Need help or have any questions? Get in touch. We'd love to help.